Travel Robot Presence Top 10 Things to Do in Kenya In this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 things to do in Kenya. Kenya, the name is almost synonymous with the word safari. Few other places on the planet conjure such a spirit of adventure and romance. The diversity of tourist attractions in Kenya dazzles all who visit, and viewing the country's abundant wildlife tops the list of things to do. See throngs of wildebeest thundering across the savanna during the Great Migration in the Maasai Mara. Come eye to eye with elephants in Amboseli, or marvel at Lake Nakuru, flecked with thousands of flamingos. In these sun-soaked lands, ancient tribes such as the Maasai, Kikuyu, and Samburu retain their traditional customs, living in relative harmony with the natural world. So before starting this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Let's get started. Number 10. Maasai Mara National Reserve Maasai Mara National Reserve, also Maasai Mara, is one of Africa's most magnificent game reserves. Bordering Tanzania, the Mara is the northern extension of the Serengeti and forms a wildlife corridor between the two countries. It's named after the statuist, red-cloaked Maasai people who live in the park and graze their animals here, as they have done for centuries. In their language, Mara means mottled, perhaps a reference to the play of light and shadow from the acacia trees and cloud-studded skies on the vast grasslands. The park is famous for the Great Migration, when thousands of wildebeest, zebra, and Thompson's gazelle travel to and from the Serengeti, from July through October. In the Mara River, throngs of hippos and crocodiles lurk. The park is also known for providing excellent predator sightings thanks to its relatively large populations of lion, cheetah, and leopard, especially in the dry months from December through February. Thanks to the park's altitude, the weather here is mild and gentle year-round. Number 9. Savo National Park Kenya's largest park, Savo, is sliced in two, Savo West and Savo East. Together, these parks comprise 4% of the country's total area and encompass rivers, waterfalls, savanna, volcanic hills, a massive lava rock plateau, and an impressive diversity of wildlife. Midway between Nairobi and Mombasa, Savo East is famous for photo-worthy sightings of large elephant herds rolling and bathing in red dust. The palm fringe Galana River twists through the park, providing excellent game viewing and a lush counterpoint to the arid plains. Other highlights here include the Yatta Plateau, the world's longest lava flow, Budanda Rock, and the Lugard Falls, which spill into rapids and crocodile-filled pools. Savo West is wetter and topographically more varied, with some of the most beautiful scenery in the northern reaches of the park. Highlights here are Mzima Springs, a series of natural springs with large populations of hippos and crocodiles, Chenu Crater, a great spot for seeing birds of prey, and Gulia Rhino Sanctuary. Number 8. Lake Nakuru National Park Lake Nakuru National Park in central Kenya is famous for its huge flocks of pink flamingos. The birds throng on Lake Nakuru itself, one of the Rift Valley soda lakes that covers almost a third of the park's area. The park was established in 1961, and more than 450 species of birds have been recorded here, as well as a rich diversity of other wildlife. Lions, leopards, warthogs, waterbucks, pythons, and white rhinos are just some of the animals you might see, and the landscapes range from sweeping grasslands bordering the lake to rocky cliffs and woodland. The park also protects the largest Euphorbia candelabrum forest in Africa. These tall, branching succulents are endemic to the region and provide a bold textural element to the arid landscapes. Number 7. Lamu Island The small island of Lamu, northeast of Mombasa, oozes Old World charm. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, Lamu Old Town is Kenya's oldest continually inhabited settlement, with origins dating back to the 12th century. Strolling the labyrinthine streets is one of the top things to do here. You can see the island's rich trading history reflected in the buildings. Architectural features from the Arab world, Europe, and India are evident, yet with a discernible Swahili technique. Intricately carved wooden doors, coral stone buildings, hidden courtyards, verandas, and rooftop patios are common features. Sightseeing here is like stepping back in time. Thou's plow the harbor. Few if any motorized vehicles exist here, 
and donkeys still rule the streets as they have done for centuries. Most of Lamu's population is Muslim, and both men and women dress in traditional attire. Top attractions on the island include Lamu Museum. With displays on Swahili culture and the region's nautical history, Lamu Fort, and the Donkey Sanctuary. Number 6. Lake Naivasha A haven for birders, Lake Naivasha lies at the highest point of the Great Rift Valley. More than 400 species of birds have been spotted here, including African fish eagles, jacanus, white-fronted bee-eaters, and several species of kingfishers. One of the best ways to view the wildlife is by boat. Hippos slosh in the water, and giraffes, zebras, buffaloes, and eland graze around the edges of the lake. Keep a lookout for colobus monkeys in the canopies, too. Near Lake Navasha, the Crater Lake Game Sanctuary features a wildlife-rich nature trail. Just south of Lake Navasha, the relatively affordable Hell's Gate National Park protects a wide variety of wildlife and offers excellent climbing opportunities, with two extinct volcanoes and the red cliffs of Hell's Gate Gorge. On the southern shore of Lake Naivasha, you can pop in for a cup of tea at the Elsamir Conservation Center, the former home of the late Joy Adamson, author of Born Free, and her husband George. Number 5. Nairobi If you're looking for things to do in Kenya other than a safari, you'll have plenty of choices in the country's capital and largest city. Nairobi is legendary for its colorful colonial history. It was once the capital of British East Africa luring settlers who came here to stake their fortune in the coffee and tea industries. Today, you can explore the city's famous historic sites and excellent wildlife-related attractions. Craving some cultural attractions in Kenya, you'll find several worthwhile places to visit in Nairobi. The Nairobi National Museum is a great one-stop spot to see exhibits on Kenya's history, nature, culture, and contemporary art. Green Thumbs will also enjoy the botanic gardens on the ground, Another popular tourist attraction is the Karen Blixen Museum, the restored residence of the famous Danish author of the book Out of Africa, also known by her pen name, Isak Deinsen. Number 4. Giraffe Center Located near the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust Elephant Nursery, the Giraffe Center is a must-visit attraction near Nairobi National Park. The center is devoted to the rehabilitation and reintroduction of the Rothschild giraffe to the wildlife parks of Kenya. As part of a visit, the staff explain their work during a 15 to 20 minute overview. A visit here allows you to get up close and personal with these gentle giants. Equipped with your very own bowl of giraffe food, you'll be able to feed these curious creatures. The feeding area is on a raised platform, which puts you close to head height of the giraffes, who will stoop down slightly and extend their giant blackish gray tongues to scoop up what you have on offer. Although perhaps not as beautiful as the giraffes, several warthogs also roam the property and are also willing to eat the giraffe food should you be inclined to share with them. Number 3. Malindi North of Mombasa on the Kenyan coast, Malindi has a split personality. This popular beach town is part historic old town, part modern tourist hub. Thanks to its rich trading history, it is also a melting pot of cultures and cuisines. Travelers, Many from Europe come here to sun on the white sands of Watanu Beach and dive the coral reefs of the Malindi and Watamu Marine National Parks. If you're looking for free things to do in Kenya, you can do worse than bask on a beautiful Malindi beach. You can also soak up a dose of Swahili history in the historic town, which dates from the 12th century. Here you can visit the Jami Mosque, two pillared tombs from the 14th century, and the Church of Street. Francis Xavier one of East Africa's oldest churches. On the promontory, the Vasco da Gama Cross is one of the oldest standing monuments in Africa. Number 2. Mombasa Mombasa is a multicultural tourist magnet. It's also Kenya's second largest city and biggest port. British, Portuguese, Arab, Indian, and Asian immigrants add to the rich cultural mix, and their influence is evident in the architecture, as well as the many different types of cuisine. Mombasa is actually an island connected to its mushrooming development on the mainland by a causeway, bridges, and ferries. Coral reefs fringe the coast for 480 kilometers, providing fantastic snorkeling and diving opportunities, especially at Mombasa Marine National Park and around Wasini Island. 
Dolphin watching and deep sea fishing are also popular things to do in Mombasa. You'll find plenty of tourist attractions along the Kenyan coast here. History buffs will enjoy exploring the 16th century Fort Jesus and Old Town with its narrow streets, ancient Swahili dwellings, markets, and souvenir shops. Number 1. Hell's Gate National Park A hot spot for climbers, Hell's Gate National Park is one of the few parks in Kenya that allows camping and enables you to explore on foot or bicycle. Hell's Gate offers excellent climbing and hiking opportunities, with two extinct volcanoes, the red cliffs of Hell's Gate Gorge, obsidian caves, and the pointed column of rock known as Fisher's Tower, a former volcanic plug. Geothermal features include hot springs and natural geysers hissing steam through vents in the Earth's crust. The park also protects a wide variety of wildlife, including leopards, baboons, hartebeest, eland, ostriches, gazelles, and more than 100 species of birds. Eagle and vulture breeding grounds also lie within the park. The Oluor Karia Maasai Cultural Center within the park is also worth a visit, with Maasai singing, dancing, and jewelry making demonstrations. If you love similar content like this, take a look at my other videos. And if you like it, please smash the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. If you have further questions, feel free to comment down below. See you in the next video.